movement of the rear wheel of your motorcycle is key to a smooth and fun riding experience. To ensure this, you need to grease the rear axle at regular intervals. Here is how to do it. Before you start, ensure you have these necessary tools. A 6mm Allen key, a 24mm combination ring spanner, a general screwdriver and an extension tube. These are available in your motorcycle toolkit. Additionally, you will also need a tapping mallet and a grease can. First, ensure that the motorcycle is in an upright position on a firm and flat surface. Take a note of the alignment markings on left hand and right hand side chain adjusters. Use a screwdriver to hold the rear spindle from the left hand side and loosen the spindle nut on the right with a 24mm ring spanner fitted to the extension tube. Remove the plain washer and spindle nut. Gently pull the spindle out partially with the help of a screwdriver. Plug out the brake hose and ABS cable from the swing arm clips. Slide out the caliper reaction bracket assembly. Place a dry cloth on the silencer and gently place the caliper reaction bracket on it. Insert a cardboard sheet between the brake pads to prevent any damage. Hold the wheel assembly with your left hand for support and gently pull the rear spindle out with a screwdriver. Remove the left hand and right hand chain adjuster from the swing arm. Take out the spacer from the left hand side of the sprocket. Remove the drive chain from the sprocket. Keep both of them on a clean surface. Remove the spacer from the right-hand side of the sprocket center and keep it aside safely. Ask a friend to tilt the motorcycle so that you can roll the wheel out. Ensure availability of the right-hand spacer at the wheel assembly center. Remember not to place the wheel this side down as it may damage the plate and toner wheel. Also, do not press the rear brake lever when the wheel is removed from the motorcycle. Also, make sure you support the rear caliper carrier to avoid any damage to it. Before you refit the rear wheel, apply grease on the oil seal and the bearing. Now, carefully tilt the motorcycle on the right-hand side and roll the rear wheel to its position. Make sure the rear shocker mounting bolt is not coming in contact with the disc surface while sliding the wheel. Ensure the spacer availability on the right-hand and left-hand side of the chain sprocket. Insert the drive chain into the rear sprocket and align the sprocket with the wheel hub. Insert the left hand side chain adjuster into the swing arm. Take the spindle and apply a thin layer of grease on it uniformly. Lift the wheel assembly with the right hand to bring the swing arm eye and chain adjuster on the same axis. Gently Push the spindle into the swing arm eye. Remove the sheets from between the brake pads. 
Slide the reaction bracket carefully till it sits on its position. Insert the right hand chain adjuster into the swing arm. Tap the spindle gently with the mallet on the left so that it comes out from the right. You might have to adjust the chain play. To learn more how to, refer to the chain play adjustment tutorial. Insert the washer on the spindle and tighten the wheel spindle nut with your hand. Tighten the spindle nut using a 24mm ring spanner and insert the brake hose cable into the clips provided. Now, tighten the chain adjuster nut completely using the 6mm Allen key on both left hand and right hand sides. Set it to the initial alignment mark. Tighten the spindle nut fully. It is recommended to visit an authorized Royal Enfield Service Centre to get the bolts tightened to the recommended torque. Now, check the wheel for free rotation. Your motorcycle is now ready for your next trip. Keep riding.